Hi, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. If you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notifications bell so that you can be notified as soon as I release new content. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here, for being part of this community. Love you all so much. Thanks for booking those personal readings. Those are always so much fun. And if you would like a personal reading, all you have to do is go down to the description box below and check out my information that I have in the description box. It'll tell you all about how to obtain a personal reading with me. I do like to keep my prices affordable for you all. All right, so there's going to be three different piles today, and you're going to choose your pile or piles based on gemstones or images or some kind of combination of both. The choice is yours. And the other thing that I wanted to say is that we're going to be getting into not only who is going to be reaching out to you soon, but what do they want to say and how should you respond? So it's going to be super in-depth and lots and lots of good information should come through for you. And if you're watching it and you really like the video, please hit that like button because that really does help the channel. And also, please leave me a comment and let me know how this resonated with you because I would love to read your feedback. And I'm always pretty good about reading all the comments and responding to as many as I can. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card reading. Who is going to reach out to you via text or phone call or message very soon? And what do they want to say to you? Hello and welcome to your pile selection with gemstones. For pile number one, we have this beautiful clear crystal quartz. For pile two, we have this green aventurine. And for pile three, we have black obsidian. So go ahead and think about which pile or piles you are drawn to. And if you need a little bit more time, it's okay. You can pause the video. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card all about who is going to reach out to you very soon via text or email message or something like that and what do they want to say to you and how should you respond and this will be advice from spirit okay all right let's get started Hello and welcome to all of you who chose Clear Crystal Quartz for today's reading or image one. You are in the right place. So I'm just going to start us off with a quick little cleansing and prayer to spirit so that I can connect with spirit. This is not a religious prayer. It's just my way of connecting with spirit. Spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise and accurate messages to my pile number one collective may these messages be accurate and speak through me thank you spirit okay i got a whole bunch of cards here that spirit was telling me to use for this reading so i will use however many of these i feel called to in the moment and each pile might be different if you are drawn to more than one pile, feel free to watch however many piles you are drawn to. So Spirit, who is this person who really wants to reach out to my pile one? And who is this person that will be texting or messaging or somehow reaching out very soon to my pile one? Who is this person? I think I will use the astro dice as well so that we can get some astrological signs. All right. So I think I'll start with the astrological signs 
And now, you know, when I roll these, we could get your sun, moon, or ascendant, or Venus sign, or um, the person who's going to be reaching out to you soon. So we've got Pisces, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius. Okay. So who is going to be calling, texting, reaching out to my pile one? We've got Judgment, Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, Queen of Coins, my bad, Five of Swords in Reverse, Two of Swords, King of Cups, and then at the very bottom of the deck we have the Four of Swords, interesting, I think I will put this up here. So you may have um, different people that will be reaching out to you, but today I want to talk about the one that will probably have the most impact on you. But of these signs, we do have the um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn coming through, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So that is a lot of different signs. Okay, so I'm just going to move these up, but whoever this was, I feel like you could have had a disagreement with this person. Um, with the Five of Swords in reverse, though, this person is kind of over it and they want to talk. I feel like that's what they want to do is they want to talk about it. They could have told you they were confused or that they, they could have told you that they were trying to make up their mind, you know, they didn't know what they wanted. Um, they're usually somebody who's very honest and forthright and tells you exactly how they think, but I feel like you might have been thinking they had some kind of secret or they weren't telling you everything. I think you were right and you should definitely listen to your intuition because this person is ready to talk and you may hear from them. Well, you will hear from this person, but it is, it may not be today, but it might be. Some of you may literally get a text or a call today or within the next month or so okay from this person but they are ready to talk and um they're very attractive i must say that they're very very um they have a lot of sexy energy about them their body is just like very um it's like they have a rocking body um they take very very good care of themselves and this person like you know, they may work on their fitness quite a bit. I feel like this person has very strong muscles. With that Four of Swords, though, you could have taken like a, a kind of a big time out from this person. It could have been like weeks or months since you talked to this person. Um, and for some of you, I mean, it might have even been, it felt like even longer. So I want to dig a little bit deeper and see like, you know, what is this person, I guess, or who this person is. We'll get more into that in like the letter tile portion. Um, I may literally say their name or their profession or what they do, but I do feel like whoever this is, they are, they're somebody who works with their hands and um, they could be even into construction or something like that. Whatever they do, they're very, very um, hardworking. I will say that. Okay. You might have felt like a little bit betrayed or you might have felt like you know you guys might have had an argument and you may have felt like you won the argument but you didn't feel good about it whoever won the last argument you guys had um is not feeling too good about it all right i was called to use these so let's do it so spirit this person who is going to be reaching out to my pile one what can you tell us about what they want to say to my pile one what do they really want to say self-sabotage oh goodness i really do feel like this person could have just been sabotaging their own happiness like literally 
you know, you made them happy when you were together. I feel like this could definitely be some kind of ex or somebody who, um, you might have felt like they rejected you in some way, shape, or form. But anyways, this person, they really sabotaged themselves. And, um, I mean, look at how creepy that card is. Oh my gosh, I've never even seen that, seen that card. And the, this is a new deck, but, um, yeah, they could have been into, like, drinking too much or some kind of bad habits, too, that really, um, sabotaged them, their own self or even this connection, okay? All right, so let's see what else, Spirit, do you want to add to this conversation? This person definitely has, like, a dark side. They have, like, they're fighting their own demons. They're trying to fight their own demons. That's what Spirit is telling me. Oh, wow. This person, when they reach out to you, they're going to tell you that they want to have sex with you. <laughs> they want to hook up with you. They're, they're thinking a lot of sexual thoughts about you. Okay? Whether you hooked up with this person in the past or not, this person is enamored with your body. I just heard you take my breath away. This person dreams about you night and day. They think you look like a god or goddess. They think that you literally have the most perfect body and you know how to dress in a very sex sexy way. What else, spirit? This person, they think that they're your soulmate. So if they weren't sure and if they hadn't made up their mind, they're definitely changing their mind and they're coming to the conclusion that you really are a soulmate and that they shouldn't have rejected you because they're just sabotaging themselves. You know? So that's what spirit wants to bring through. What else, spirit? Yeah, they can't really function too well without you. That's what spirit just told me. Take off your mask. So this person could have literally been, like, hiding who they were from you. Or, like, it, 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 feels, it feels like they were almost, like, being a trickster maybe maybe not on purpose i feel like this person i'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt maybe they were brought up with some hardships or had some hardships in their life or may have been treated unfairly by life but um they do tend to wear like a social mask or public mask and they may have even put up a, a mask with you and not showed you their true self but when they do reach out to you they're going to be ready they think, <laughs> they feel like they're going to be ready for some kind of, um, like, love offer for you. Let's get into the Carolyn Mace archetype cards, because Spirit was telling me to use these two. Alright, Spirit. What else can you add to this conversation about this person who is going to text or call or reach out somehow to my pile one? What do they want? And... Yeah, what do they want to say? They've been spending a lot of time alone and thinking a lot with the hermit. They've been seeking solitude. They've been focusing a lot on their inner life and how they're feeling. And they've also been spending a lot of time just doing not a whole lot of nothing. But they've been thinking a lot, okay? But they may have not have been in their most active phase in their life. This person could also be some kind of artist. They, like I said, they do work somehow with their hands. Um, for some of you out there, it might be a hint or a clue who this person is because they could literally like look like this dude on this card and have like the beard, the brown hair, beard, that kind of thing. That's not going to be for everybody, but this is a general reading, so take what resonates exorcist yeah they're trying to get rid of their demons thank you spirit for that they're trying to exercise their demons that's what spirit is saying they don't want to be this way anymore they are tired of um being alone i guess and they want to conquer their demons once and for all i want to get into the lover's oracle and see what else whoa ha 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 did you see that that's crazy. That that literally, I just opened this up and that just flew right out and turned around. 
wow, this person, they feel like their um, life is a mess. And their, over, their emotions are overwhelming them right now. I mean, we could not be more clear than that, right? Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this person is a mess without you. They feel like a literal mess without you. They wonder, what do you see in me? They want to know how you're feeling, okay? That's what they want to say to you when they reach out to you. They want to ask you if you're still feeling any feelings for them. If you forgive them, they want to know. Okay? Interesting. Um, this person does seem to have like a lot of guilt, regret, and that kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to use the Kipper decks next. The Kipper deck next. That's a tongue twister. Just to see what else this person is thinking or why they want to contact you. I don't know why that one's flipped around. Maybe this person moved away. That was flipped around in the deck. Maybe this person actually lives at a distance from you. I don't know why that was flipped around. Okay. I mean, that could even mean that, like, they moved away, like, either physically or emotionally, but yeah. All right. See, they want to give you a gift. They want to give you something. They want to give you literally time, energy, or a gift. They're thinking. See the thoughts. Thank you, Spirit, for that again. Thank you for the confirmation, Spirit. This person is thinking heavy thoughts about you. And that's all they can do. That's all they can do right now is just sit there at wherever they are, whether it's at work or at home or even in the car. I'm seeing somebody driving a car or a truck and thinking about this or even even like a work vehicle okay anyways i am seeing somebody just thinking a whole lot about you because look at this we got the thoughts and the hermit which is all about being alone thinking and looking at your inner life your inner landscape and how you're feeling so this person is basically feeling like crap i'm hearing i'm hearing too you were right they know they had demons that they had to conquer and you were right about it all along interesting all right, so these cards are all flowing together very, very nicely. Thank you, Spirit, for that. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to um, see, like, how you are supposed to respond to this person when they, you know, contact you. What are you supposed to, what does Spirit think you should do? This is not advice you sh that you need to take. This is Spirit's advice to you. Okay, take it or leave it. But Spirit, how should my pile one react to this person when they reach out to them? Nine of coins in reverse. Oh, my pile's upside down. So that's why it came out in reverse. Well, might as well leave it in reverse. That's okay. Um... I like to try to read them upright, but I'll take this one. This is saying don't give them too much. Don't give them too much of your energy. Wait and see what they have to say. Hear them out if you want to, but don't give them too much of your energy. Meet them wh where they're at. I mean, match their energy, okay? So if they call you, you shouldn't be too overly excited and be like, Hi, how are you? I'm so excited to hear from you. Like... Spirit is saying, please don't do that because you're going to be giving them a little bit too much energy and um, you got to match their energy. They have something important they want to say to you and um, Spirit is saying, try to listen, more like listen and be like more serious when you listen to them and just hear them out and then maybe give it some time. I'm hearing too, Spirit is saying, don't give them an answer right away. Yeah, they want to tell you that they've changed. You got to look and see for yourself if you think that they have changed. You're going to have to give this some time, Spirit is saying. And you're going to have to see how you feel about it because you're going to have to assess their attitude. Has their attitude really changed? Does this, did this, like, this person, the way they treated you, are you, like, did you forgive them for that? Is, you know, you have to ask yourself a lot of questions. Like, how are you feeling about the way they treated you? Do you forgive them? Do you trust them? 
So the spirit is just asking you to give this a little time when they um, reach out to you and to assess the situation clearly. Use your head and your heart. Okay, so let your heart lead you, but take your head with you. <laughs> okay, um, let's get into the letter tiles and see who this is. I will be channeling names, hints and clues, and that kind of thing to see. Um, so yeah, let's see who this is. Spirit, please help me to choose the right letter tiles that will reveal their initials or their name for my Pile 1 Collective. Now, you might see your name in here too, or your initials. Let that be confirmation that you did indeed choose the right pile. I'm enjoying this reading so far, and I hope you guys are too. If you're liking this, please go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help my channel. And um, after you've watched this reading or any time during, if you want to leave me a comment and let me know how it resonated, I would really appreciate that. And so what I'm doing here, I want to explain to you what I'm doing during this process. I'm laying the letters out and I'm going to be channeling spirit. Spirit is going to talk to me and whisper into my ear different names. This could be the name of your loved one that you're thinking about. That is going to reach out to you soon. Um, or this could be your name. Okay. And if I don't say your name or this person's name, look for your initials or their initials within the tiles. Okay. I will be getting hints and clues from spirit about different things like locations of where you may be at or this person or professions. You never know what's going to come through when spirit talks. Okay. So I just got to be prepared for anything. I always say whatever spirit brings through. And oh, I also wanted to say, if you see, um, you could see their first, middle, or last name, okay? And if everything is there except one letter, it still counts. And you can duplicate the letters as well. And what I'm doing is just kind of getting rid of some of these duplicates. I'm already seeing some names in here. I bet you are too. Um, I, I am seeing the word vent. I do think this person wants to call you to vent as well about their, their emotions. They really miss having somebody who truly would listen. You were a very good listener to this person. And I feel too that this was a very um, unequal relationship because you were giving so much you're such a giving person. You were giving too much to this person um, because I do think that you had a lot of high hopes for this connection. For the longevity of this connection. So, all right. Okay, I'll just stop there. But yeah, I will get rid of all the duplicates. I got a lot of requests to uh, do it this way again. I had stopped doing it this way for a while. All right, so this is helpful for you. This way you can see their name or their initials or your name, your initials in here. I'm hearing the last name Hamill. I had to say it. I'm also uh, hearing Rose and Raphael, Rosa, Rosalind. Um, I'm getting a lot of downloads from Spirit right now. Okay, this person could have even had a P-O-R-N addiction. Just saying. Take that or leave that. This is not going to be for everybody in this portion. Basically, what this portion is, is for um, clarification or for confirmation for... This is a general reading, so there's going to be lots of little tidbits that come out and names. And some of these names and tidbits will not resonate with you. But you got to take what you like and what is meant for you, okay? And leave the rest. All right, so as far as names, I've got Hillary, um, Gavin, Taryn, Torin, Paisley. Um, 
Sanders. Okay, that could be a last name. Paige. Melanie or Melody. Garrett or Garrick. Erica. Wendell or Wendy. Rex. Levi. Soren or Soraya. I am hearing Hill, so that could be a last name. Lori. Tori. Faye. Mariah. Angela or Angie. Devin. Deb. Ross. Demi. Cheyenne. Allison. Xavier. Rick. Naisha. Denia. Tony, James or Jamie, and I'm just going to say like a couple more, George or Georgina, Trent, okay, if I did not say your name, do not be disheartened, see if you can find the initials here, or see if you can find the name spelled out, okay? Now I want to get into different hints and clues that I am seeing here within this reading. File. Okay, filer? I'm seeing filer, so that could be a profession. Maybe this person files taxes, or that could even be you. Or files paperwork. Maybe this person or you works in an office. All right. Um, I'm hearing respirator. Um, that could be a clue. Maybe uh, just letting you know um, if you, I don't know why, maybe you're a nurse or something like that, or um, this person is a doctor or works in the medical field, but, um, or even this could be that potentially you know somebody on a respirator, um, but yeah, that was coming through. Um, also yeah that you could know somebody who's very ill okay that that is here too also somebody who um is on pills that could be somebody who that could be somebody who um this person that could be this person or somebody else let that be a hint or clue i just take whatever comes in um i am also like seeing psoriasis so that could be like maybe um like a skin disorder that this person or you may have or just dry skin that kind of flakes off or whatever. Um, I heard um, wingman. <laughs> so what that tells me is that um, this person... Um, couple things. You might have met them in a bar when they had a friend or a buddy with them and they they let this person do all the talking or kind of gave them a confidence boost or they have a friend who does this that kind of gives them a confidence boost. Um, you could even see the friend's name in here or something like that. Gauge? I'm hearing gauges. Okay, um, that could be like maybe this person has gauges or that could be you or multiple piercings, that kind of thing. Store. 
I feel like this maybe um somebody here could work in a store there's an energy of that that could be like a department store or any kind of store or um even what I was thinking too is that this person could be a stoner because I am seeing that too um this person could or this could be you likes to shop quite a bit pet they could have a pet I don't know why I just heard snake I'm not seeing a K but I heard they could have a pet snake or even a rat or something that's like a little unconventional but I can't talk unconventional for a pet I'm seeing unhinged in here um, I'm not seeing a you but I heard unhinged so maybe this person is kind of feeling like they're coming undone, that kind of thing, without you. Liver. This person might drink a lot, okay? Because there's something here with the liver coming through, okay? Um, so that could, that could be denoting that they maybe consume a lot of alcohol. All right, like I said in the very beginning, I feel like this person may have some bad habits, okay, or vices. So take what you like, you know, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you today. And I hope that you truly enjoyed this reading. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, don't forget to turn on that notifications bell. Please hit that like button and leave me a comment too. I would love to hear your feedback and how this resonated with you and let me know too when you hear from this person you can always come back to the video and let me know i would just absolutely love that okay my pile one and um also i wanted to say if you need a personal reading please reach out to me um the information is in my description box below on how to obtain a personal reading and also, I have a Patreon for 18 plus readings. If you enjoy those kinds of readings, check out my Patreon. All of the information for that is in my description box below. And many blessings and feel free to watch however many piles that you would like to. And until next time, bye. hello and welcome to your reading so if you chose image two or this beautiful green aventurine gemstone you're in the right place for today's pick a card reading it is going to be all about who is going to reach out to you via text or email or phone call very soon this could be literally today or within the coming weeks or months but not too far out okay relatively soon who is this person we are going to get into all the details i will be using the astro dice now with these astro dice i may roll i'll keep that that fell out of my hand i'm going to roll i may roll your astrological sign or big three sun moon or ascendant or the person that's going to reach out and text you okay um, and then we're going to find out details so that you know exactly who this is. And before we begin, I will light some sage so that I can cleanse the space. I like to do that each time because I do a lot of tarot card readings. So spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile to collective. All about the person who will reach out to them. Why will this person reach out to them? And what is your advice, Spirit, on how they should respond? So we are going to be looking at letter tiles. I'll be channeling names. Um, I might say your name or this person's name. Okay. It should be fun. So we already have a Virgo here. Let's see what else we can get. Capricorn. Libra and Capricorn again. So let's roll that again and see if we can find. I like to have four different signs. 
Pisces, okay? And as always, if you are drawn to more than one pile, I would suggest that you listen to that intuition and watch however many piles you are drawn to. But here we've got somebody with Pisces in their chart, Capricorn, Virgo, or Libra, or some kind of combination, okay? And that could be you or this person that is going to be reaching out to you soon. And it's going to be a lot of fun because I am going to be using all kinds of decks. Um, I have a lot of Oracle cards here. I'm going to be using the Miss Cleo deck. Haven't used that in a while. So Spirit, please tell us who this person is who's going to be reaching out to my pile too. And what can you tell us about this person? Any details will help Spirit? Please speak through me as you always do. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, I'm already feeling this intensity. So it's like, oof. Whenever I get that, it's like going to be a very intense reading. Sometimes that can mean like sexual energy. So it just depends. But let's see what the cards say. High Priestess. Okay. High Priestess is a beautiful card. Death. Death can sometimes represent scorpionic energy. Five of coins. Five of cups. Seven of cups. Wheel of fortune. Ooh, I like that. Two of cups. And I will take one more. Ooh, the sun. All right. So this person could be a Leo or just has a fantastic personality. This person has a wonderful smile. They walk into the room. They just light it up. They're like a, a positive, optimistic person that everybody enjoys being around. This person also is pretty naturally intuitive. Okay, I will say that with the high priestess there. They, they have a, a pretty good way about reading people. You know, and they're good with people too. They're very, very good with people. Um, it's like you can't pull wool over their eyes. There's, this person is also just very majestic looking. And may have had some kind of transformation. May have had some kind of huge glow up physically. Maybe they got more muscle mass or maybe they got ripped. I don't know. It just hurt that for somebody. Somebody just got really ripped. And this, that could even be your energy coming through. But like... Somebody's been either working out or lifting weights. That could even be lightweights. It doesn't have to be. Because I just heard lightweights, high repetitions. So that could be, you know, for some of you. Because I do read energies and I may be picking up on your energy. But yeah, I really do feel like this person, whoever it is, who is going to be reaching out to you has um, high sex drive, high stamina. And it's like they could just go all night long. This person, they're ready for something new in their life with the Wheel of Fortune. They have good luck on their side. We got this. Um, new cycles are opening up for them and they just feel ready. There's like a readiness. And yes, this person has a lot of options. They have a lot of people that want to be with them. But this person thinks there's something very special about you and your energy. I think this person really digs you because they like your vibes. They think you're, you're attractive and you're naturally intuitive. So you kind of bring out the best in them as well. Um, this person has a good uh, good attitude, and they tend to look at things in a positive way. They're always smiling. That's the thing. They're, like, always happy, pretty much always happy, smiling, trying to see the best in things. And, um, like, they might have had a course of bad luck in the past, but it's, like, that's in the past, and they are able to get over it like that, you know? Like, everybody has this in their life sometimes, you know, a course of bad luck or whatever. I feel like this person, whoever this is, they have a lot of stability and they're able to just move on from things. They're not dwellers. They don't dwell on things, <laughs> okay? They don't dwell on things from the past. They are able to let stuff go. So this person is, I feel this is kind of like, um, almost like a romantic thing that they have, like a crush that they have for you that they could be seeking from you. So... Spirit, can you tell us more about um, this person? And we'll get more into details. We could even, like I said, I could later on say their name, um, say their profession, what they do for a living, or any other clues. But I want to know more about, like, this person and 
what they really, really want to say to you when they reach out to you. Okay, what is this person, what, is, what do they want to say? What are they going to say when they reach out to my pile too? Community and journey. This person could come a long distance to come and see you. So this person might live a long distance away from you and they may say, hey, you know what? I want to come and see you, you know? Um, and with community there, there, I feel like this person is somebody who is very valued in their community. They're an integral part of their community and they value community, okay? They have a good spirit about them. They could be influential or even influencers with that card, but they're somehow well-liked. But yeah, they could be saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to come and see you, you know? And like I said, this could be today, this could be this week, this month, or within a few months. It's not going to be too far out, but there's journey here. So this person wants to come and see you. Even if they're just coming from one town over, there's definitely this like want or want, desire to come towards you, okay? High honor. This person could have even been in the military, okay, or um, gotten either, either maybe they won some awards. This person could even be a personal trainer um, into fitness. This person um, could have gotten acknowledged for something, won, a, won an award for something. Um, I even just heard like Red Beret. Okay, this person could be honored in a different country for something. So these are just hints and clues expectation this person is like saying that they kind of almost like they've been waiting okay <laughs> they've been like waiting and there's like almost like this they know you've been kind of waiting too because we see here a lady looking out the window i feel like this person is going to say hey i know you've been waiting for this because they know that you like them this is like somebody that you like too and they know that you want to get together and that's what they want to say is they want to get together that is so cool this is, this is happy news. Oh, wow. I just split the deck and this came out. Marriage. This person is actually thinking about marriage. Wow. They're thinking about that you are the type that they could actually envision themselves with down the line. Um, they want to grow old with you. Even if this is like somebody you, you aren't even really that like familiar with right now, you're the type that they would marry. Okay courtship they definitely want to start dating you this is exciting they're definitely going to ask you out or they're going to um could even propose to you but yeah i mean i know that sounds crazy but some of you might even getting be getting like some kind of engagement or proposal soon wow okay that is so cool i'm so excited for you my pile too you'll have to definitely come back and let me know um after this happens Let's see what else we can find out about this person who is going to reach out to you. I'm so excited. This person is definitely into you. Like, very, very much into you. Alright, so Spirit, what else does this person really, really want to say? Oh my gosh, we got cards, like, flipping all around here. What is this person? I would normally take that, but it was, like, three of them, so. What does this person really, really want to say or... What, what can you add to this conversation about this person? Ooh, I'm feeling that again. I'm feeling like that. It's like this nervous, excited, nervous excited feeling <laughs> like this person, they kind of get nervous about like when they think about you and stuff. It's like they get that nervous, excited feeling, you know, like the butterflies and stuff. Beggar. Queen. And actually, I will take three. Martyr. And on the bottom, we even have Prince. Oh, wow. This person is full of romantic charm. Look at that right there. Romantic charm and potential for power. Yeah, this person could very well hold a position of power, okay, within the community. They could even be in law enforcement or something like that or work as a security guard. They, yeah, they could. there could be something with that or like a law official, something like that. And then we've got Martyr, Queen, and Beggar. Interesting cards. The beggar this person could like almost feel like they don't want to come to you as a beggar they want to know that it's mutual they don't want to feel like 
they're coming on too strong or anything like that or like scare you because look at her she's covering her eyes she's just like oh my gosh like I feel like this person does not want to um like come at you is if they don't think that you like them but I do think that they they do kind of have like a little bit of a confidence knowing that you do like them but there might be just a little bit of a fear that they don't want to come on too strong this person like literally like thinks of you as a queen if you um relate to like feminine energy this person thinks you're very regal and that you seem to have like this um kind of like aura about you where you're really nurturing too and you kind of have like this um big personality that it's kind of like when you walk into a room all all eyes turn on you like you might notice that everybody in the room stares at you and all eyes are on you at all times you get a lot of attention and this person like they know that that you're the kind of person that gets a lot of attention martyr light attribute learning the transcendent learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or cause okay your person that is going to call or text you soon is a really good person this person is somebody that would like lay down their life for somebody they could literally like lay down their life for a good cause or like fight for a good cause they're very humanitarian very altruistic in their nature they have a good heart like this person is is just somebody who doesn't really think of themselves like they think of other people first wow what an amazing person all right so hmm yeah i think i'll use these heal yourself reading cards all right so um oh wow that flew out i was gonna say spirit what else can you add to this conversation um how should my pile two respond when this person reaches out to them and what more can you tell us about the conversation unleash your creativity so that's interesting i'll come back to that wow we got at the bottom of the deck wild oh my goodness this person wants you to let your hair down just th this person and spirit is saying too that you just got to try to be comfortable around this person you can even be a little bit flirtatious it's not gonna hurt and tell this person about your creative side they want to hear about it so brag about yourself a little bit toot your own horn it's okay to toot your own horn this person is going to love hearing about all the wonderful things that you do as far as your hobbies what you're great at what do you excel at this person when they talk to you next they really want to hear you tooting your own horn okay because they want to learn more about you they really do feel like you have such an enigmatic personality and they want to know more about you they think of you as like this like person that has so many sides to you pride i think that's a beautiful card because look at the rose and she has such a beautiful face on one side and that is she's got like a skeletal face on the other all right why is the pride card here spirit why is the pride card here love oh this person so okay maybe there's too much pride to confess love here you know and this person um or spirit wants you to just don't be too prideful to confess your love if you're if you like this person don't be scared okay tell them that you like them too what a beautiful message spirit thank you oh my gosh because sometimes people can be like that like they don't want to tell people that they care about them too or sometimes that they may just want to play hard to get but spirit is saying be yourself toot your own horn and tell the person that you really like them and all the ways you like them i mean that's just a suggestion from spirit you don't have to do that but that's what spirit is saying all right now i want to get into their name or who this is their initials or your name or initials so spirit help me to draw out the correct letter tiles that will reveal this person's name initials or <clears throat> my pile two collectives name or initials 
I'm already hearing some names, but I want to explain to you first how this works in case you are new. Um, how this works is I will be saying names. Um, I might say your person's name. I might say your name. I might not. And if not, that doesn't mean this isn't for you. It means that um, you may just see their name in the letter tiles or their initials. You can duplicate letters. If everything is there except one letter, it still counts. And spirit is just, I am, I'm getting all these messages just rushing in. So I've got to say it. I've got to say it. Okay. I'm hearing Cody. Um, I'm hearing coder. This person could be in billing or coding, or that could be you. Post office. Somebody here could work at a post office. I am hearing postal. Or that could just be that this, I don't know. You may send, uh, maybe this person will send you a letter in the mail because I heard postal. Karen, Carrie, Cece, I'm hearing Artemis, that's an interesting name. Andre, Ike. Lauren, Tom, Joe, Jackie, Jada, Jeremiah, Reggie, Regina, Maud, Martin, Diego. I'm even seeing San Diego in here. So this person could be from San Diego or near or around San Diego or California. Or even India. I'm seeing India in here. And I am hearing that. You could have a piece of clothing that belongs to this person, like a jacket, because I'm hearing jacket. Or they could have given you some kind of article of clothing, like, I don't know. Or that, that may be what they want to give you, a ring or an article of clothing. Something to remember their scent. Okay, that is coming through. Um, they love the way that your hair smells. I'm also seeing you could have red hair or this person could have red hair. Also dark, dark hair. Um, hourglass. Okay, there's like somebody with like a real hourglass type of figure. That could be you or this person. I just heard Good Samaritan. I feel like this person is such a good person. Like, that is coming through again. Like, they would literally do anything for anyone. Ryan. Daniel. Danielle. Corey. Dory. Rachelle. Rayshawn, what else spirit, what other names, Jacob, Dylan, I just heard Demarcus, I think that's a name, but I'm not really sure, but I'm hearing Demarcus. Bob or Robert. Dennis. Meg. 
Morgan, Mary, Cameron. That could even be a last name. Canada. I'm seeing Ohio. Michigan, Indiana. I'm even seeing like Minnesota. CEO is right there. This person or you could be a CEO or head of a company. What else, Spirit, do you want us to know about this person? Camera? Okay, this person could be into photography or be really good with taking pictures. Maybe they um, like to take pictures and post them on social media or something like that. And they just, they always look good in a camera. They're very photogenic too. They always look good in pictures. Hope. This person has a lot of hope for the future and they have a, a lot of hope that you will feel the same way, will find things about them that you love and cherish. What else, Spirit? I heard nurse. Team. Teamwork. Okay, this person could collaborate with others very well. Maybe they are ahead of some kind of a team or in a leadership role. There's definitely an energy of that. I heard hair and nails. <laughs> this could be you or them, but they love to have their hair and nails done so nicely and so always on point and just looking always perfect. This person just, whoever this is with the, the hair and the nails looks great. Like I said, that could be you. Looks just fresh, beautiful. There's like this energy of like, this person cannot refuse you. They just, they almost want to do like whatever you want to do. And they want to be like at your back and call. They're hoping that you will, I'm hearing like they are hoping that you will give in to their desires and what they want. Part of them, they want to like be in control of, of the, um, pace, the pacing of this. So that's why, you know, there, it's probably maybe best to wait for them to reach out to you because they kind of like to be in control of the pacing of this relationship. Um, so that is coming through. I am seeing Omar in here as well. So I had to say that. Onias. Houston. Ring. I'm seeing ring. Yeah. This person definitely is thinking you're the marriage type. Well, I think that's about it for this pile, pile two, as far as messages from spirit. If you have enjoyed, please subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to turn on that notifications bell. Please hit the like button. That really helps my channel. It helps me to know if you like this type of reading as well. And please leave a comment. I always like to read your comments. And I always try to respond to those as well. If you'd like a personal reading, check out my description box below for more information on how to obtain a very affordable personal reading from me. And if you enjoy 18 plus readings, I do offer those on my Patreon. All the info for that is in my description box below as well as a link to my Patreon. It's only $3 a month to join and you can cancel it anytime. So. Really, you got nothing to lose if you like those kinds of readings. And if you would like to donate to my channel, it's never ever expected, but always appreciated. And you can find more information on how to do that in my description box below as well. 
If you were drawn to any of the other piles, I would highly suggest watching however many you were drawn to. Trust your intuition on that. Much love to you all, and until next time, bye. Hello, my beautiful souls out there who chose pile number three, obsidian, which is black obsidian or image three. You are in the right place. Today's pick a card is going to be a fun one. Um, I have never done this topic before, but I thought it would be great. So this is all about who is going to call or text or reach out to you soon. And when I say soon, I mean this could be today, this could be this week, next week, within the coming weeks or months, but not too far ahead. It's going to be relatively soon, okay? And what I'm doing right now is I am um, saging the space and just kind of, you know, cleansing because I do a lot of tarot card readings. All right, so spirit, please be here now with me and please help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile three collective all about who is going to reach out to them and give us as many details as you can about this person, please spirit. And also please let us know what this person is going to say and um, advice from you, Spirit, on how this person should react, okay? And I'm going to be using the Miss Cleo deck today because I haven't used this in forever. I'm also going to be using... Oh, wow, those just flew out. Okay, I'll take those. Um, uh, it just depends on, I guess, what Spirit leads me to do, but I, I have several Oracle cards here, Oracle decks. So we've definitely got a Ten of Cups, so, ooh, okay. All right, that usually has something to do with love or romance. Page of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius person. I also do want to do the Astro Dice because we may reveal more about the astrological sign of this person. Um, this is somebody who makes a decent wage. Okay, and they're very generous as well. This person has got you on a pedestal. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Spirit, what are the astrological signs that are meant to come through for my pile three that will indicate who this is that's going to be reaching out to them soon? Or please let me know the querents, sun, moon, or ascendant, or Venus sign to let them know that they chose the right pile. We've got a Leo, Cancer, so Leo, Cancer, Aquarius, Libra. Okay, very good, very, very good. And if you were drawn to, to any of the other piles, I would say definitely check them out too because there may be messages in there for you. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, this person is very, just somebody who has a great head on their shoulders, like they always basically they're they're very much in touch with their emotions they give good advice um stable very stable this is somebody who is like they know who they are and they have a confidence about them they could have very lean musculature and um like a square or like like a squarish type of face sort of a square or like elongated or um something about like the bone structure it's just very beautiful bone structure in their face okay Six of Swords, Ten of Staffs. Boy, this person is a really hard worker too. And we've got the Sun. All right, so interesting. Um, This person could have just gotten out of a relationship. Okay, that's what I'm sensing here, but oh my goodness. This person is looking at you with a lot of love in their heart. So that's very interesting. Yeah, this person could be a coworker, could be somebody that you work with that moved transferred to a different company. I'm even hearing from Spirit. Or works at a different branch or office or location. That's what you're saying. That's just gonna be for um some of you because this is a general reading. But anyways, this person 
they're very talented. They could be in sales too, I'm hearing. And um, Three of Coins denotes that too. This person could be somehow either in the spotlight or like they have a talent, a, a, a skill that they're sharing with others. And people do, do tend to look up to this person, whoever this might be that is going to be reaching out to you soon. This could even be a potential um, like job offer to you or somebody who wants to team up with you or pair up with you or collaborate with you. But that's going to be for some of you and there might be multiple people here too. So one of the people may be actually like somebody working, blah, I can't talk. I'm getting myself like all jumbled up with my speech because I'm thinking so fast, speaking too fast. Um, this could be two different people. One of the people is somebody who wants to offer you something related to work. So listen for their name in um, the letter, the letter tile portion and the channel names portion or any hints and clues related to that work situation because I feel like you will be getting either a job offer, um, an opportunity to team up or collaborate with somebody um, or something related to career and then also a, some kind of offer, love offer from somebody or some kind of a, um, um, somebody could reach out to you for um, advice or um, yeah, I'm also sensing that this person could be just honestly, like, crushing on you. That's what's coming through. Okay. So, so basically, I see two distinct possibilities here. And I will address these separately as we go forward. So, we've got the work situation, and then we've got the personal one with the person who is just really you know they're an out they're an outgoing type of person they could be a leo they just they have beautiful hair they have a beautiful smile charming disposition they're the type of type of person that likes to give a lot of compliments but they're genuine compliments i feel like this person when they reach out to you one of the things they're going to want to do is give you compliments and that goes for both 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 of these individuals are going to be giving you compliments so get ready for those all right let's do a deeper dive into this i didn't expect there to be anything related to career or work but that's cool that that did come out kind of a fun surprise so thank you spirit for that so spirit what is it that the uh the person regarding the career or the job is going to say to my pile of three within the coming days, weeks, or months pretty soon here. What does this person want to say? And like I said, we will get more details about who exactly this is as we go on, but hopefully this will give you just some, you know, indication of what they want to say. So what does this person want to say, spirit, in regards to their work? their workmanship or this collaboration goddess okay so there's definitely this element of you being in your like i don't know like it's like an illuminated face or something there's something about you where you're really shining in the work that you're doing so we've got goddess vibes coming up here and that could be even if you're a male it doesn't matter what you identify as it just means that you're you're very wise and you have a lot of life force and believe it or not you just seem to be kind of on fire you know or like on point with everything everything you're doing it's like and this person thinks highly of you this person that is going to contact you thinks very very highly of you this one's really cr screaming out to me too athlete okay this person that is reaching out to you um they could literally oh wait didn't i just say that? did i say that in the beginning that this person could be a personal trainer anyways i don't know this person could be a personal trainer or very, very physically fit, um, very, very, you know, into sports or testing their physical limits, um, overcoming, like, transcending any physical limits or limits at all, any limitations. And this card also stands for um, developing personal willpower and strength of spirit. So... That just tells me that like this person, what they see in you is somebody who, you know, you're really, really strong 
<clears throat> and you're really, really good at what you do. So there's going to be some kind of offer because they really, they really have you quite on some kind of pedestal here. They see you as strong. And, but also this is telling me that this person too will be very, very like strong. I think this person is going to be like built really in a strong way just to give you like a hint or a clue about who this person is. I am getting that, um, I mean, I'm picking up like a male energy, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be somebody just very much in their masculine. What else, spirit? Detective. So this person, do you see how like, um, it looks like she's kind of spying. There's like an eye through there. This person has been keeping an eye on you. They're been, they've been observing you. And this could even be somebody um, that, let's say you're on social media or something. Um, you could have somebody that wants to do like a collaboration with you or something like that. And they've been watching your channel or your platform to see what you're up to. And they're going to plan on reaching out to you. Okay. Also, like if this is a boss or whatever, they're keeping an eye on you and they're very, they're liking what they see. Or this could be somebody who is looking for somebody to do some kind of work with them and they've been looking through your resume or whatever and they like your skill set a lot and you have a lot of really good talents and skills that this person um, wants to like give you a lot of credit for, okay, and make you some kind of offer. Okay, thank you, Spirit, for that. Um, what about the person, the other person, Spirit, that um, seems to be having some kind of crush on my pile three? Um, will this, what will this person want to say? What will they say to my pile three? Oh, wow. We got the addict, the prostitute. And the messiah oh wow this person they want to like it doesn't mean that you're a prostitute just because we got this card i just want to say that no what this means is that like this person literally wants to like give you an offer to like take you out spend money on you they may like want to lavish you with gifts or something or take you somewhere really nice so you may get some kind of offer um like for a date okay um, or this person may also call you up and, or text you and say, Hey, do you want to go out to dinner and go shopping? They may want to buy you something interesting. Um, especially if you do have like a birthday or something like that coming up and if they know about it, this person, they, they want to like tell you they're kind of addicted to you. <laughs> Oh my god, this person's so addicted to your energy. This person has been excited about you. They're excited. They want you to know. They almost like worship you. We've got Messiah here. Like this this person literally like worships the ground that you walk on. They're so enamored by you. They think that you're a really good person. They think that you're like service oriented. So I don't know if you have some kind of service oriented profession that you do where you, you're in a helping profession or something. But this person really thinks that you're like a Mother Teresa type of person. You've got like Mother Teresa vibes. They think that you're very empathetic and very nurturing and also um, very mystical and cool. All right. So let's see if we can find out any more about um, the career offer. So what does, for this collaboration, what does this person want to say? Sorry to bounce back and forth, but I think this is the best way because two different people came out. Let us know, Spirit, what else this um, career choice or option is going to bring for my pile threes. Okay, they may ask you, this person may ask you to, um, to relocate, okay, for a job. Um, they may ask you to relocate to a different state or country or even just a different company. They may say, come work for me. Okay. And it may be like a little bit of a distance from your current residence. You may have to move. But this person is going to ask you to do that. Or that could also mean 
if this is somebody who wants to collaborate with you on social media, maybe they live a long distance from you. They could even live on the other side of the world. All right, and then we've got the mature woman. So this person could be older than you. We've got privileged lady. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a man. It can be a woman too that wants to reach out to you. It's just going to be different because it's a general reading, but this person, they, they do have wealth. They're very wealthy and privileged. And this person has a lot of maturity and could even be older than you. Okay. Occupation. Yeah, this person is good at what they do. They just want you to come on board. That's what I'm hearing. They want you to come on board. Interesting. All right. And spirit, what about the person that has their eyes on my pile three in sort of like a romantic way. Um, what is this person going to want to say? What are they going to say when they reach out to my pile three? Distant horizons. This person could also be from a ways away from you. Um, or this person could ask you to like take a trip with them. Or go someplace with them. That might be a little bit, you know, far away. Um, okay, it's just going to be different for everybody. We've got the unexpected income. So I feel like this person that has their eyes on you, they might have recently even got a raise at work or something like that, gotten a raise, or um, they just feel very confident within themselves. Like, remember how I said that that person um, really did seem to be kind of, you know, wealthy or at least I, I hope I'm not getting these two mixed up but anyway I feel like this person that has their eyes on you they really are hard workers and they are good at saving money and they they are not somebody who is broke or like you know um having a hard time financially and this person they are going to want to spend money on you they are going to want to see that they are going to want to spend some kind of money on you or I mean ask you on a date maybe they want to pay for you take you out to eat or take you on a shopping spree what else spirit i don't know this one's kind of jumping out at me family room this person could own their own house um or they actually have this kind of in mind that they want to do this um and they're looking to kind of settle down to be honest they're not a player whoever this is they don't give me player vibes they're really serious they're serious about family they're serious about wanting a family and making memories and um, buying a house. So this person is going to come at you with a very serious offer. All right. What else, spirit? And then we got child. Oh my gosh. This person actually is serious about family, like I said. They even, they're thinking they want to have a child with you. You guys would make cute babies. Very adorable babies. They like your face. They think you have a cute face. And that, like, together, the two of you would make the cutest babies. That's what they're thinking. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Um, what else? All right, I think I'll get into the letter tiles and see if we can find out, you know, more about these people. You can always come back to this video after this, these people reach out to you and let me know, okay? Leave a comment and let me know how it went, what happened. I would love to hear about it. So Spirit, please help me to choose out the correct letter tiles that will indicate the person or people who are going to be reaching out to my pile three collective very soon all right i'm gonna be channeling some names i'm already hearing dave so that could be your name or this person um darius conrad so i'm gonna be saying um there's myra i'm gonna be saying names and i might say your name or i might say this person's name or you, if I don't, that's okay. It doesn't mean this is not for you. What it means is that you may see their initials or their first, middle, or last name in the tiles, okay? I'm going to be getting into more details about um, 
occupations, resident places of, um, I want to say places of residency, where they live, possibly. Sometimes different states come through or countries come through. Or different hints and clues about their personality will come through. Anything. I mean, it just depends on what spirit wants to bring through. So if you see their names in the tiles, but everything is there except one letter is missing, it still counts. Doubles, I mean, letters can be doubled or duplicated. All right. Leon, Lexi, Jared. One of these people could be um, somebody who could like what you're you're promoting. So maybe like if you're an author, let's say you're writing a book or something, this could be like a publishing house that wants you or somebody, something like that, because Spirit just said that. Or somebody who wants to team up to promote your book. Or have even have like a signing session where they where you like a book signing or something like that. So that's for some of you. I'm hearing Desmond, Clarence, Otto. I heard Lisbon. Omri, Cadence, Chuck, Sue, Sally, Jeff, Jake, Josh, I heard September, so this person could reach out to you in September. So this could be pretty soon. This person could be in the law enforcement. I see law or law officer. Cop. Um, as far as other names I'm hearing, Milo. Riley. Jamie, Patrice, Victoria, Adam, Marina, Molina, Stephanie, Rachel, and also Raquel. Monica. Monique. Jasper. Jody. Lori. I'm hearing Hmm. Shack? Interesting. This person could even, um, one of these people could play basketball. Because I am hearing Shaq and I just thought of Shaquille O'Neal. Okay, so this person could literally, like, be really heavily into sports. One of these people, I'm seeing the devil here, so that tells me there's an obsession. One of these people has, like, a... A heavy obsession about you but it is it's also love <laughs> i'm hearing almost love by sabrina carpenter um so yeah you may want to listen to that song but uh, i'm hearing almost love char i'm hearing char charlotte felicia Joan. This person could even be a tutor or a teacher because I'm hearing um, diction. So this person could teach English or could help English language learners because I am hearing that too. Could be like a 
like something with an e ELL or English language learner teacher, something like that. Or this person could, one of these people could speak a different language than you, could be bilingual. I am seeing Arabic. This person could have some kind of affiliation or whatever with Arabic culture. Um, I'm seeing Milan. So this, I feel, I think that's in Italy. So this person, one of these people could have an affiliation or some kind of link with Milan. Horses, there's, there could be a horse lover. That could even be you. That's the horse lover that likes farms, farming. I'm seeing farm, horses, even cow, um, pigs. So yeah, one of these people could like live on a farm or operate a farm or just really love farm life, you know, country music, that kind of stuff, living on a dirt road. LOL. I feel like um, this person that's crushing on you has a really wonderful sense of humor. They like to joke around. Yeah, one of these people, I feel like this person that has a crush on you, they're either looking to buy a home or they own a home. One of the two, but they're serious. They could be older, because I'm seeing older. They're very mature, even if they're not older. They're very, very mature. High value. I'm seeing raft. They could like water sports. Okay, they could be into water skiing, rafting, whitewater rafting. And they have a very adventurous side. I'm even seeing Aries. That could be you or them. Whale? Whales? Maybe they're like avid fishermen or fisher people. Um, maybe they like to fish, I'll say that. Um, they like water. They love water or could be a water sign. Um, I don't know why this is coming through, but I'm seeing like... Wow, okay, one of these people could actually study mortuary science, or that could be you that is interested in that field, and laboratory. So there's an energy of somebody that is here that is um, in a laboratory, like a science lab, either as a phlebotomist or some kind of lab specialist coming through. And I'm seeing, well, I'm hearing hospital. I wonder if it's in the tiles. Yeah, it's hospital. Um, you or this person could work in a hospital. Okay. Even ER or... Um, there's no B, but you could... You or this person could work in OB. Or... Which is obstetrics. Um, or with elderly. Um, rehabilitation, I just heard too. Some of you could be rehab specialists or hospice nurses or something like that caretakers interesting i just heard aloha and i see it here in the tiles too there could be some kind of affiliation with hawaii or maybe that's a vacation an ideal destination vacation vacation destination you want to go to because i am seeing maui in here too and you know, that goes along with the whole water thing. So that kind of makes sense. Let me know if this is making sense to you. Let me know if this is resonating with you, please. Go ahead and drop me a comment. I hope you've enjoyed today's reading. I know I have. Please subscribe. I would love to have you be part of my community. And please be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And um, if you do subscribe, also... Um, don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so that you can be notified as soon as I upload new videos, okay? Um, and if you like 18 plus uncensored readings, I do have a Patreon for that. It's only $3 a month to join. So go ahead and join that um, if you like those types of readings because you're going to have a blast over there. And yeah, it's $3 a month. Cancel at any time. All the info is in my description box with a link to go to my Patreon. Check it out. If you need a personal reading, I do offer those at a very affordable price. I like to keep my prices affordable. 
and um, check that out. All the information that you need for that is in my description box below. Anyways, I've had so much fun with this reading. I hope it was really insightful to you. And let me know. Like, come back. You can always come back to this video and leave a comment. This person is going to reach out to you or you're going to have two people reaching out to you. One in your career sector of your life and one in, looks like, love and romance. Okay? So please come back to this video and leave a comment and let me know when this person um, contacts you because it's just a matter of time. Much love to you all. Take care. And until next time, bye.